Okay, the standard procedure for installing a, you know, a, a false ceiling like this is to use much smaller <laughs> strips of wood. Um, but in a way, I, I'm glad they use these 2x4s because, you know, we have to take them down. We're, we're taking the ceiling down. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to strip, strip this back so that it's, it's basically, you know, we're going to strip it down to the joists and the underside of the floor upstairs, and that's all going to be painted white, and that's going to be left exposed. Um, and that, that way we'll have, you know, a taller ceiling, and it will feel a lot more spacious and tall in here. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> we're, we're, we're stripping out these, uh, these two by fours that basically were nailed to the underside of the joist to, you know, to hold, you know, to hold up, uh, ceiling tiles and light fixtures and a few other things, but they don't hold anything up structurally. So we, we can use them in repairs to other parts of the house. We can use them to build, uh, you know, to help build a fence to enclose the backyard, that sort of thing. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm today I'm um, I'm cleaning out this area. I, I removed a big, rotting, crumbling piece of drywall that was <laughs> uh, that had been exposed by this hole. There's a hole here in the concrete block front wall of the building because there used to be a stair, an iron staircase there, and and it. It was either taken away or, you know, it was damaged during Hurricane Katrina or something. But it, it's been gone for a long time. And so so we need to repair that. Um, but also, you know, we're going to strip away, you know, the, this old renovation. And we don't know if the renovation here in the front room was from the 50s or the 70s. Um, it kind of has that, like, white drywall you know, boxy look from, <laughs> and, you know, that sort of cheap look from the 70s. Um, but uh, the the thing that's odd about this particular room is that it's got, it's got like a double thick wall. So it's got an entire wall that we can strip away. And then we can, we can just, we can put in an, another, a wall on the original structure. Um, we, we suspect that the reason someone put in a double thick wall in here was to hold in air conditioning um, and to keep it cool down here you know during hot summers but so anyway so so I've got these these um, two by fours are, are in really good shape uh, they they must be made out of cedar or cypress or something that's held up over time and so I'm gonna take these and build a, a gate post for the gate that I painted uh, yesterday and today.